for today. Uh, for starters, we'll do uh, apologies and proxies. Uh, Patrick is here, which is nice, so I don't have to do apologies for him. Uh, Sebastian Southern, our secretary, is not. Uh, there are no other apologies that we have, I don't think so. Because Jenny's not here. Yeah, Jenny isn't here. Yeah, that's fine. And Luke's uh, not here, if that counts. Luke, Luke is a staff member who I don't actually think is a member, but, you know, he's an unofficial member yeah, in heart, member yeah. Heart. Uh, as for proxies, I believe we have. Yeah, what about Ryan? Huh? Oh, yeah, Ryan, Ryan will be here in a few minutes. He's bringing food. Oh, okay. so, yeah, he's, he's signed in, yeah. Uh, so, uh, we, as for proxies, I believe we have uh, Mazza and Sophie Barton, who are both being proxies, uh, and Sebastian Southern on behalf of me. Uh, the first thing we need to enact for is the confirmation of the 2018 minutes. Uh, the, way this, well, the way voting works is you just either go for, against, or abstain, and you just put up your hand. Uh, so all for. Hey, wait, can we look at the minutes, please? Oh, we actually have to look at the minutes? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You, uh, at, at previous AGMs that I've been to, it's literally just been like a, assume you've run them, but we will. Oh, are we well, no, Who's actually read the yeah, minutes? Put that in. Oh, Where are the minutes? Why did I wrote them? What is the minimum? Yeah, I'll pull them up. Uh, me. Uh, there we go. Yeah. These are these are our things. Uh, that's our list of financial members. We actually yep. made quorum, barely. Yep. Uh, this time we've got a nicer turnout. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we've had apologies. We've had non-financial members. Uh, done. Uh, the major bulk of things that happened at last year's AGM were voting quite a few uh, constitutional changes. So we had a few things. Uh, this is the executive clause. Where are the constitutional changes? Here we go. So a lot of it was uh, just sort of simplifying the constitution and updating it with you know modern day stuff. Uh, and also electing the new executives. So, is that enough of an overview, or does anybody else want to give any statements based on the last few minutes? Cool. All four? How many is that? Uh, huh? That I, need, I need to, I need to count everybody, yes. Sum. Yeah, however, you need to give the full count. Uh, 
Uh, are you good? Okay, is that... Okay, nobody's abstaining, so it's the entire count of people on the yeah. sign-up sheet. We'll just do that. Uh, that's slightly easier. It's much easier if people don't abstain unless they really need to, just for counting purposes. That's fine. Uh, all right. Huh? It, uh, activate AGM minutes. they like they prefer it. I don't think it has to, but they prefer it. Uh, yes, so the next thing we'll go through is our membership numbers. Uh, we managed to hit 254 members this year, which was a crazy achievement. Huh? I'm going to be going through it in my president's report. Uh, it was about a 160% increase. I think a big reason for that would be support, and I'd like to thank everyone who's been contributing to keeping it alive and to starting it. So yep. thanks, guys. Yes. So uh, I will go. We'll be going through the uh, executive reports. President, treasurer, and Matt should say CSO. We'll also do a vice president's one if you want. Uh, so I didn't know you were going to be here. I'm sorry. I would have made slides otherwise. Uh, uh, so to start off with president's report. Yeah. Uh, Progsoc turned 30 this year, which is yeah. amazing. Uh, I asked around. I don't think there's any other continuous society that's lasted as long as us. Yeah. So yeah, we've 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 out you know outstayed our welcome, I guess. <laughs> Not at all. No, that was a joke. Yeah, uh, yeah as I said before, 160 percent increase in membership. Uh, a big huge victory for us this year was our increase in sort of diversification of our relationships. So uh, we've gotten a few different sponsors, uh, Deloitte, DigiZoo, and Asina all being new sponsors this year, and hopefully continuing on into the future. Uh, we've had a lot more collaboration in our events, in our discussions with like a lot of the other societies. Uh, obviously, we've always had very strong relationships with uh, like PASS, with Robotic Society, with uh, TechSoft, all those people. But we've also diversified to a few uh, non-fiat societies, such as BCII, who we ran our hackathon with, yep. and uh, the Music Society, which provided the jazz band for our 30th anniversary yeah, party. Right. Yeah. Uh, as for external non-sponsors but still partners, we've uh, established a really good connection with Hackathon Australia. Uh, we ran a workshop with them. Uh, they participated in our hackathon, and I believe a lot of our members went to the five-year anniversary yeah. of Hackathons Australia. It was really nice. Uh, there was also here Maths and Real Skills Education, which we ran two pretty uh, pretty nice workshops with. Uh, a big part of those workshops was diversifying the kind of content we run as ProgSoc members. So you know, there's a lot of focus on technical. Uh, there's, a lot of focus, there's a lot of focus on like technical workshops that we run, and these were attempts to try to do something a little different. And I think it's something that I would really like to continue in the future. How many workshops did we do this year? We did six. Yeah, that's pretty Yeah, good. we did six workshops. We did three in the first semester and three in the second yeah. semester. Mm -hmm. And we've already got a huge plan for our next year, uh, which we will go through probably at the very end of the meeting. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, Activate and Fiat this year like have real, really knocked it out of the park. Uh, I don't remember, I don't remember Patrick, you were with me, uh, we were at the exec training day and we were all sitting in the room and Activate basically said, so all these grants that we give you, we're going to give you about like 50% more now and just like everybody in our thing. So like for instance, the, uh, the function grant had a huge increase, which meant we were able to sell our uh, tickets to the 30th anniversary for way cheaper than we would have otherwise. Uh, Fiat has been providing a massive amount of funding. I think all up they've provided a few, little over $2,000. Uh, yeah, so basically we've had a lot more support from our university in sort of helping us grow and like, you know, figure out how our society fits into the new shape of UTS. Well, not the new shape, the ever-changing shape of UTS. Uh, this room we're currently sitting in is kind of the closest thing we have to a new Proxoc room, which we have not had for a few years. Uh, so this space is effectively a student-run space, which means that staff have very little say in how it operates. Uh, and its primary goal is for fostering innovation and like group-run projects, uh, the primary of which is run through student societies. So they kind of said, yeah, this is a space that you can totally use uh, as a society, which is awesome. Uh, other than that, as mentioned before, the Discord's are rocking. Uh, I'm super, super proud. Uh, in no small part to uh, our DSA and other subject discussions. We've managed to like bring in quite a few students we probably otherwise wouldn't know of to really help people out. 
Uh, I know quite a few students who did much better in their subjects this year and got the chance to like explore different areas of programming specifically because of this Discord. And yeah, it's probably one of the achievements I'm the most proud of this year. Yeah, we met one of our remakes too. Yeah. Oh, and of course, yeah, the retirement home uh, where we were able to bring back so many of the alumni to like catch up after years and years and years. Yeah. Uh, that's something really cool. Yeah. So this is a list of all of our uh, big events that we ran. So uh, we'll talk about the uh, probably the three biggest I would say we ran were the 30th anniversary, which had roughly 70, 80 members, uh, the Code to Change Hackathon, which had roughly the same amount as well, uh, and our Prog Comp. Yeah, so all three, uh, these were like our big sort of showstopper events, and we had like some pretty high numbers for those, uh, and a lot of engagement. There are a lot of, they're all three of them are very different style of event as well. Uh, we've managed to diversify the kind of things we ran. Uh, we also did the media jam with uh, uh, Interaction with Game Design and Egg, or not Egg, Gamers Guild, GG, they've renamed, uh, which is cool. That was really fun. Uh, that was like a weekend long thing, and there were some really nice projects out of that. Other than that, we did uh, another social event. We've done a, the other workshops previously mentioned. Uh, a lot of diversity and a lot of things that I want to try. Uh, redo with this, you know, like we want to try to redo as a society as a whole as we continue into uh, next year. Uh, we will go for the treasurer's report now. Yep. Alright, so brief... Thanks, Gold Goblin. <laughs> brief discussion of where we're sitting at in terms of account balance and that kind of thing. Um, at the beginning of the year, we were sitting at $7,875. Um, now, Throughout the year, we have gotten a total income of about $12,300, and we've spent 11900 of that. Um, so currently, we're sitting at $8,273. Um, and pizza will need to be subtracted from that. Where does that income come from? Income came from um, majority of our sponsors. Um, majority of our sponsors donated between about 1500 and 2500 each. How many sponsors was that? Uh, we had a total of three sponsors plus one special case, which was just for the hackathon. Um, Which was a blend between engineering society and uh, programming society. So, so we sp so so split that. How much came from member dues? Like five times 250 or something. Yeah. yeah. So about 1,250. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of that was from grants. So we got about 2,200, I think, from grants. Excellent. Yep. So yeah. Um, the expenditure mainly comes down to um, food provided for events and then the large events that we did throughout the year. So the hackathon and prog comp were the main um, costs, particularly because of the uh, prizes. Um, the pr prizes. Yeah, so prizes are pretty much generally the largest portion. I believe of that it was uh, $3,500 for the hackathon and $1,800 for the prog comp. Yeah. Cash prices. Cash yeah. prices, yeah. Where's my money? I'm going to go to the second. That's nothing to do with us, that's to do with yeah. one more yeah. thing. Yeah. How, about, how about the main sources of income? So, is there like sponsors that were particularly generous? or? I mean, they were all the same tier anyway. All, they're all, all pretty, pretty, yeah. Yeah, cool. They're all pretty consistent. Sounds good. Uh, <laughs> just before we go on to. Are you, is it, yeah. uh, before we go on to the CSO report, uh, Patrick, would you like to give any words about. Uh, oh, I don't have anything to add, really. Uh, we'll go on to the CSO report then. Okay. Cool. Feel free to write your minutes about this afterwards. You yeah, don't have to we'll like write in as we talk. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. So uh, this year the CSO could have had a very big job, but I was quite busy, so I feel like I didn't really do uh, the full extent of, of uh, responsibilities that my role had. Um, there was there was a lot of things that we could have gone on to do, like the servers, obviously, a little bit of a state of limbo at the moment. So. Um, some of the things we did do was just basic maintenance, and we, we cleaned up a few of the pages. There was a few permissions issues here and there. Um, we had a fairly severe PHP issue, which Tom has been like incredibly helpful with that stuff. So you know, as long as Tom's around, I think we'll be perfectly fine yeah, with the you service. Say certificates renewed, but yeah. have you renewed? We renewed them, but the problem is half the site isn't actually using the SSL certificates, so we need to figure out what's going on there and actually fix that up. Yeah, that's a job that's for, next, for next year. Yeah, it's a job for next year. Um, Maybe not necessarily next year, but over this break. Yeah, because yeah, I think right. a, I yeah. think a big thing is like what we learned is we got very busy as soon as the year started, and you know 
getting that head start for whoever's the CSO uh, in the next year. Probably be yeah, like a. Maybe you should try and fix that before yeah. the next thing that's getting built. Yeah. <laughs> Can I set, set something up that renews the certificate every three months or whatever? Yeah. Something automatic would be good. Yeah. Um, you have to worry about it. Yeah. Uh, some of the other things, like obviously we have a very huge amount of files. We have one user that we, we talked about last pigeon who's using a, a historic user that's using about like what was it, 220 gigabytes. Of <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at you mainly because you were the one that made me aware of. Oh, maybe it was Tom actually. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, sorry, I thought it was Anand. Anand, yeah. Anand, yeah. yeah. We need to do it sort by size. And let's go. Yeah. From there. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Um, and but other than him, I think the next highest users are like only a few gigabytes. Yeah, so he's right. well over 200 times what the next user is using. So basically, like <laughs> even if we want to, even if we don't want to touch those files, just push them to some sort of like you know cold storage where we can keep them there. It's still accessible, but it costs a lot less than what we're paying at the moment. Is it now still um, alive or what? Denying. Huh? Denying. Okay. He's wanted by the frog soft for yeah. excessive use of storage. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that's one of the things we want to do and just generally improve the performance of the service so we can downgrade it because obviously the biggest thing as you can see down here is that um, CD, Chris Deegan, is still paying for the service that we have on DigitalOcean. That's totaling about, what is it, like 70 US dollars a month, I think he told us once a month, 50 US dollars a month. It's expensive. It's something that Frogsoft needs to take over eventually. Um, and the best way of doing that would be to sort of fix up the existing hardware we have. So I, I think the, the general idea I have is that is that going into this year and next year as well, um, the best plan would be to take what we have on the current server, or servers, plural, and put it onto something else and just sort of have a whole plan of, of simplifying it so we use less CPU and RAM usage and can therefore downgrade the amount of processing power we have, make it a lot cheaper, and it'll be a separate process to what we currently have, right? Yep. It'll mean that somebody's going to have to foot the bill, but I mean, like, we can get AWS student, you know, 150 bucks, and Azure does the same thing, and so does Google Cloud, so not hard to do for the Are you going to do some handover documentation of uh, like what you've done and what you hope to do? Yes, yes, and whoever CSO, I'll just work with them and like I'll just, we can do something in person or something online. Oh, I'll just show right. them everything I've done because it's it's very hard to put down on paper. There's a lot that Tom has taken me through and there's a lot that It's more just like Christine's goals done. for the future than yeah. like what you've done because you yeah. can easily sit down with someone. It's, yeah, yeah. The actual, just having on paper what I you think want to do. Somewhere, yeah. I wrote it here in the last one here. It's, it's fairly intuitive. It's basically yeah. just a simple CLI environment. But there's some sort of there's some funky stuff going on behind the in the background with yeah. Terraform and stuff that uh, Christine kind of explained to me, but also didn't. So I, I know I kind of know how Terraform works. But if you yeah. don't know how Terraform works, you have to learn it to yeah, use that stuff. Time, yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, and then the last thing too that's that's something we'd like to do this coming financial year is try and get the old server that we have sitting in the locker desk set up. That'd be cool if we could get an internet connection there and, and have that accessible yeah. somehow to the greater audience because there's definitely going to be some really cool stuff on there. Yeah. Yeah. Be some um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot to do if you're CSO. Do we still have the Condor Amiga? Good question. Anyone else we have one? In the locker? Again, we've really just got on a locker, so... Yeah, <laughs> the storage room. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've, got, we've got the storage room. Yeah. We've been using the storage room a lot more now, which is nice. So uh, uh, Faculty of Engineering and IT did like a huge overhaul of sort of like storage spaces and stuff and like made a, made all the societies clear out that stuff, uh, which basically, by clear out, we mean move into the uh, storeroom and make it a bit more structured. So yeah, things are a little bit more findable now, which is nice. Yeah, it's a mystery point that the Amiga survived, but everything else was turfed out. I don't know. Yeah, somebody mentioned like the Amiga survived at one point when one of the servers actually just got thrown out or died or something. Yeah. They replaced that. I would with totally Amiga. set up the Amiga. Works, we can use it. We might even be able to like lend it to the, the game people for one yeah. of their events or something. Yeah. So uh, TLDR, the CSO will have plenty of tasks to do next year. Mm -hmm. won't, we won't burn out on top of this. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, now we get to the fun part of the night, the part where we will put up our hands. No, this is definitely the fun part. Everybody, really lo fun everybody fun. loves making changes to the constitution, right? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, as most people here know, we have two proposed amendments to the constitution. Uh, both amendments are adding two new roles to the executive team. Uh, because there's a lot of hesitation to making any changes to the constitution, especially adding and removing roles, 
Uh, I think I'm just going to give a little primer as to the rationale behind why this is being done and its benefits, or at least our perceived benefits. Uh, hopefully to the people watching this video as well as the alumni here. Uh, so basically the way Activate now works is you need to have your executive roles in the constitution to be seen as official. Uh, by official, this that's a it's it's weirdly nebulous, but it basically means in order to get access to things like the fiat storeroom, uh, these this iHub space, uh, in order to sort of be seen as an active member for uh, the recognition programs they run, for things like that, these are all things that you need to be an official uh, executive for. So in the past, what uh, ProgSoc has done is they have had our five core roles, and then there have also been uh, like unofficial executives who the society agrees upon, but Activate doesn't really have a say in it, uh, as well as liaisons. And liaisons are kind of the uh, add them, remove them as the executive see fit. They help out. Uh, a big thing with so these two roles we're adding, we could say they are either. Uh, unofficial executive roles or liaisons. However, the job description of them, uh, in our opinion, has a lot more work put behind them than liaison roles kind of we would want to expect from a liaison. Uh, the, the biggest issue we've had this year, I think collectively as an executive, is that we have been very busy doing these two things, which is managing and running our events and marketing our events that we actually haven't had an incredible amount of time to do the work specifically for our jobs. Uh, at least I know for me, uh, I've had this terrible ne negative feedback loop where I've been so busy doing certain work that I haven't had time to tell other people, hey, could you do this work for me? So it's just led to this thing where like, there's less delegation, which means there's more work for me, which there's less delegation, and it just, it was a bit of a mess. But hey, it just panned out. Uh, so yeah, the general thing is we have people who want these roles, which is another nice thing, uh, and we think these are probably the two most concrete roles to have, uh, as well as because they're sort of very in line with what other societies have. So most other societies, especially of the size we are, have an executive team of about 10. So us historically having five executives <coughs> would be far less, which means there's a lot more work for fewer people. Uh, and you know, we've got quite a few more members now. Hopefully we keep having more members, which will mean there'll be more engagement from the executive team. So yeah, without further ado, uh, is everybody, anybody got any questions before we vote on this actually? Um, is this being live streamed? Because you were no. questioning the people. Okay. No. Once I was going to be like, should we check the disc? No, no, it's being recorded and it'll be checked afterwards. So they don't actually get a say in this, unfortunately. However, at least then, you know, they'll, they'll know what we're thinking. I just feel like thinking. acknowledging these. Yeah. Things. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, proposed Real amendments. Quick, before we continue, yes? sorry. Um, is there anyone here who isn't a financial member? No? Financial uh, member. You, but you haven't know? signed in? You paid for Oh, yeah. Yeah, just paid membership. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, so I don't actually know how that works in terms of paying membership on the night once the meeting has commenced. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. I, we'll we'll treat it as fine. That's cool, fine. yeah. So cool. everyone here is. So we've got. Uh, well, we have 19 here, right? So two, four. I counted it. I don't know why I'm asking you that. It'll be on the sign up sheet, yeah. Just so we know the threshold. Who just paid membership? Sorry, we got 20 20 months. 20 months. 20 months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. 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 14 to pass. So we need 14 to pass, yeah. Who yeah. just paid membership? Yeah, I need proof that they paid. Uh, which means we'll have to re-download the membership and everything. You don't need to download that. They just need to show me their purchase. <laughs> right. Sure. Uh, okay. So, I believe if that's the case, uh, Ryan has two votes, himself and Leon. Okay. I have three votes. I'll have to double check. I'm pretty sure I have myself and two other people. And you also have three votes. Two? You have two votes, yeah. Okay, cool. So... Uh, so basically just when, when you're doing the counting, if there's any, if people don't approve, just count them as, you know, that many people. Uh, proposed amendment one, to add the uh, events coordinator. All in favour? All opposed? Okay, there's one opposed. Uh, and any abstaining? Okay. Uh, there's no need, really. Uh, it's just too many exit roles. Okay. And I don't think that um, 
in the future will be a real struggle to fill those roles. Yeah, that's because it was historical, like, 2017, where you guys just don't want to get roles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, e but even then, there is there is definitely the case of we have to work hard to find people who are willing, uh, yeah. which I think now, because we have a wider community, uh, a very big goal of the executive team will actually be to foster and find people who are liaisons in the current year who would eventually want to become executives. So what's the count then? Well, assuming everybody put their hands up. Except yeah. for one. Except, Except for one. Two. Then it would be 24, because we have, including Rob. Okay, cool. Yep. So uh, three, four, four, as for Amendment 2, Marketing Director, uh, all in favour? Yep. I believe that's everyone. Uh, oh, that's okay, you're in favour of this time. Okay, cool. So yes, that's everyone. Uh, all opposed? And all abstaining? Okay, good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, ah, that was nice. Oh. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yes. yes. Okay. Those positions will be filled tonight. It's part of the constitution as of right now. Okay. Yep. Uh, so as you can see, we actually have a if amendments passed, we have these two roles in place, which is nice. Yeah. So uh, we'll start out with the top role of president. Yeah. Yes. Hey Ben. Yes. Yes. Just from. Oh wait. Hold on a second. These are last week's meeting. Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, uh, vote. do we have to vote for all the previous executives stepping out, or do we say that it happens? I don't think we did it last year, did we? Essentially dissolved. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yes. Currently, yeah. we are no longer executives. Reset the deal. Yeah. 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 Uh, ben, you're no longer president. How does it feel? Yeah. That's it. Uh, so, uh, nominations for the president. Seconds it. Okay. Don't write so who, who nominated you? That's Sorry. so biased. Who nominated like you? Uh, Jaden... Jaden did. Yeah, okay. And Rach has seconded it. Do uh, you accept? I do accept, <laughs> yes. Uh, are there any other nominations? Any nominations for president? No. Okay. Uh, I believe that the general policy we're going to do for this, even though it's only one person, is the nominator gets stepped out of the room, uh, people run the voting. Uh, Tom will be the person running the voting for tonight. Yep. And <laughs> then we will sort of resolve that from there. Votes, they can assume that those proxy votes count towards them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, my count one. Ah. <laughs> you know what? Martha deserves it. Yes, she does. Uh, okay. Nomination uh, for vice president. Nomination for vice president. I nominate Rach Costa. And I second Rach Costa. Oh. I third it. <laughs> you nominate Albert. Albert. I will second. I will actually second Albert because he's a good boy. I don't. No. No, you can say no. You can say yeah, no. Yeah, you can you can turn down that nomination if you want another role. small groups and doing 
doing small training sets. As an adjunct to uh, UPASS, that's still running? Yeah, UPASS is still running, but as an adjunct, so that if people are too shy to go, they feel more comfortable in our space, because we are, we do have this sense of being, that everyone knows each other, and we're all kind of friends, rather than going to a stranger. But UPASS is the same thing. Yeah, yeah true. And also, true. also, fundamentals of safe programs are first year society, and first year don't really get involved, so I've cut that off until they're like, True. Oh, I've, just heard, I've just heard it from Weird that they are going to start running some classes, and I thought it would be uh, cool if we collaborated. I would also say first years in general are actually our biggest member base. First years do get involved quite a lot because usually they, they sign up in like orientation week and stuff. Yeah. They are far lower, they're far less active than the returning members. However, there is quite a lot of them there, so I make do, engaging yeah, them is important. I do want to start creating more of an incentive, especially for people who are struggling with IT or are considering potentially leaving IT because they don't feel like they can cope. I really want to encourage those people to stay because programming is something that's you know going to be fundamentally more and more important. And it's very important to me that people get that mentorship because mentorship was something I was lacking throughout my early years of being in IT. So that's something that I'd like to provide for all of yeah. you and our future members. Okay. And maybe some more game stuff for Discord, like having like a weekly game session or something on Discord, just like trying to keep it alive. Yeah, okay, that, that's Excellent. me. Thank Do we have any other nom nominations? Yes. Yes. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> yeah, I'll go. <laughs> noticed about leaving this room is it's like hard because like it's all glass. So yeah, I'm like, yeah. I guess I just I guess I just turn awkwardly just stare in the other direction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel! Rachel! I'll see you Oh my god. <laughs> yourself if you want to. That is a totally yeah. okay thing to do. Alright. However, I kind of want to like, I, I just want to give a bit of thing. Like, one of the goals of our year was like, we've actually got quite a lot of leftover money. We should like burn through a bit of money. And yet still we've made a profit this year. Despite, Thanks, despite like my attempt to spend stingy. money, we've still managed to make a profit. So, no, no. Is that your yeah. speech? I'm very stingy. I'm very stingy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gold goblin. Yeah, we, yeah. Um, gold goblin. 
I will say that, like, one of the main worries for the semester, for me as a treasurer at least, was managing also the 30th of the events that we usually run as a society. Um, now that we don't have to worry about an anniversary event next year, I feel like we're going to, like, I'm not necessarily worried about how much we spend and if we get more recurring sponsors, like... It's a really excellent yeah. question, but how much do you expect to spend in the next 12 months? Yeah. Like, just roughly. Roughly? Um, I expect... I, w I would like to spend the exact same amount we spent this year, including not having to do with the 30th. I'd like to do more prizes and that kind of stuff. Did um, we have, you expect to get the same income, though? Yes. Did we plan on having more, like, well, events as well? So how do you yeah. plan to spend the same if we're running more events? Is that coming out of essentially your cost? Well, third, we, did, we did the 30th. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the 30th costed us around at least two, mm. at least 2000 2000 to 3000 so, like, we've got a bunch of money to put more in money into program prizes because pri program was one of the weakest in terms of prizes for quite a long time for pro um, for prog stock. Um, yeah. And is that in terms of running at a loss? So, like, the event actually cost two grand while you're running at a loss, or is that in terms of like oh, what it actually just costed in general, like expenses in general? Well, say thirty of we ran at a loss. Yeah. Pretty much all of our major events we ran at a loss, if that makes sense. Mm. But what made up were particularly um, Fiat grants um, and... Uh, we, we exist in an interesting scenario where like a lot of societies, that primary income is ticketed events. Yeah. Whereas for us, what we try to do is we try to say your membership fee, unless it's like a particularly extravagant event, your membership fee is kind of the only thing that you really expect to you know, be charged by. Correct. And that's something that I feel like we have to keep. Yeah. Um, so it comes down to making sure that we keep our sponsors I, yeah, I do think that almost all of the uh, events we run, uh, the general goal we have is we pair it with some form of income to try and break even. So a lot of the faculty funding, a lot of the Activate funding yep. really is used to bridge that gap where we can. Or um, collaborating with the society. Yeah, and collaborating sort of to offset those costs. Yeah. Yep. Um, what's a good target to have left over at the end of the year? About the same every year or do you want to aim? You think, you think like 15 is too high? Or five's too low. In terms of left in the bank, yeah. so currently we're sitting at about eighty two hundred, and um, as I've talked to many other treasurers from other societies, we're pretty high. <laughs> yeah, we, we um, you're like so. In terms of next year, um, I'm happy to be running at a loss of next year, you know. Uh, but as long as it's not overboard, you know, if we're around five k next year left in the bank, I think that's perfect. Yeah. Um, just because we have a lot of money to spend, and I feel like if that we can use that to invite more people to come and participate into yeah. events, I think that's a good thing. Sorry, is that no reason to expect that the sponsorships will be difficult or yeah. anything like that, like economics and... Uh, not at this stage. We're pretty good relationships with our sponsors, mm -hmm. and especially we yeah. go we back and talk to Wise uh, Tech again, people, we'll get a lot more We have a few new people on the horizon as well. For yeah. instance, uh, we've had an email from General Assembly uh, don't know if that's going to go anywhere, but hey, that's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, you know, I know so. a lot of people. I have a lot of professional contacts, so I can, you know, reach out and they'll hopefully reach back. Yeah. So. Yeah. Some I'm small, some medium, well. some big. I think it's really good as well that a lot of our contacts we've had are very much in the smaller businesses. Uh, I really like that a big differentiator of Progstock compared to a lot of other societies is that we are very invested in the startup market, in the small businesses. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, like obviously they have less money to give, but more sources of smaller income yeah. is both more stable and it's kind of like it's nicer because it's actually helping the students far more than just getting them all into one company. Yeah. Uh, Rice Tech's still good though. Yeah, <laughs> except for Deloitte. Except for Deloitte. Deloitte's pretty big. We like Deloitte though. If someone from Deloitte's listening, it's being really good to us this year. Do we have any more nominations? This is yeah. the second last roll, and so far all of them have been unopposed. Does anyone want to make it interesting? Right. 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 Fair enough. <laughs> I, I have a feeling there's going to be a bit more competition with these other two roles. Yeah. Wait, so, 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 what, so what happens if, what happens if um, more people have stayed? And we, and we, like, Everyone has. Then you have to re-nominate. Um, yeah, 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 so yeah. it's actually, so the way we've actually been running the voting... Uh, is a little bit weird. You kind of have to either abstain or vote for someone. So really, the two options we should have had are all 
for this person for all of staining, and then if there's multiple people, it's all for this person for this person for this person. But if the majority of stains, then the role doesn't go through, and it means we have to do another election process. size of our executive team there is a general thing of like helping out in other areas mm -hmm. are you are uh, also yeah, just I'm happy to do that then yeah okay cool and one of the other things i will say is because i was interested in this role i had so interested in a lot of this stuff and helping out because i wouldn't be going for it if you actually need some help with someone happy like chip and you just get me every now and then yeah more of a liaison yeah similar liaison. similar similar to last year we also had the co-cso role for the first half of the year uh yeah. it's very possible we can do something like that again it's just not yeah. recognised. It's not a recognised thing, but it is still yeah. I'm happy to do that. So honestly, you're going to have like three people. Um, is Seb, are you still interested in running? If somebody nominates him. Like, I'll nominate Seb. For computer systems officer. How busy this year in contrast to last year? Uh, more busy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did anyone second Victor? I second Victor. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I got my hand. Yeah. Yes, hooray, my okay, cool. Uh, so, are you my decline decline. so you decline your nomination. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you accept or reject? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what, I'll reject it because yeah. we'll have plenty of land. So based on the fact that we'll have plenty of land in yeah. lots. It's just not going to have a problem. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I'll, I will say uh, Victor has been pretty active on the Discord as well, which uh, even though it's an unofficial uh, thing for the CSO to have, being active on the Discord is very nice because community moderation, you know, and the technical thing, and also making Discord bots, stuff like that. It's all, it's all a potential, you know, it's all a possibility for the future of that. Yeah. So.
Describe yourself, friend. <laughs> well, I don't know what the most important way here, but... <laughs> My name is Mohan, um, and I'm having fun with playing as well, of course. Um, I'm a third year student. Um, most of my involvement has been uh, in uni itself, so like, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that as well. I, I recently got elected as a, a student director with Active UPS as well. Um, along with that, um, I work with UPS career as an intern as well, and I'm currently interning with Amazing as a software engineer as well. So, yeah, I guess. Has anybody seconded? No, has anybody seconded? No, I, I'd like to learn more about you though. I mean, you guys are going to Can you draw? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, the reason I ask is because we'll marketing involves pretty pictures, and you've been in the pretty pictures. <laughs> have you done marketing stuff before? Is that something you're interested in? You don't really need to do graphics. I guess, as then, an, well, as an example, uh, Pringle, geez, that's yeah. a lot of, there we go. These are some of the graphics of like things that we've done in the past. It doesn't have to be like, uh, it's like been a mix. Uh, so we had a friend about make the 30th anniversary one. I made the Poker Change Gear one. Lee Patrick made the Prop one. I'm not a graphical person. Yeah, yeah. Uh, presentation so it's like, not it's, been, it's been a mix from all of us, but yeah, the, the idea is, is having a marketing person, one of the things we're looking It's not really all about graphics, it's just making sure the event goes out and the right True. Is that something we should have on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, um, yeah. making sure that all the social media are pretty active. Yeah, and up to date. And something you're doing in the marketing well. Uh, we're looking, I think we'd be looking for a bit more than just printing stuff out as an executive role. However, yeah. that is definitely the things that we're expecting to do. So yeah, uh, marketing, I believe by its official description, is uh, managing, yeah, shall moderate all society's social media platform and provide to new marketing material. So, a lot of that is about creating that marketing material. Yeah. So, yeah, it is definitely, you know. And, like, how does it feel based on more uh, things like your work life that you look at my director? I guess. It does seem like you're doing a lot of work. Yeah. It's actually, so, I guess from, uh, from my perspective, I was the Publications Director of the Engineering Society over the past year, uh, which is the, probably the closest thing this role relates to, uh, and that is a fairly continuous role because uh, continuous engagement of a student or like student base is very important, so being able to constantly make those things on your own that
Jackson, what's your last name? Yeah. 
just vouch on Albert as well. Um, he's, oh, I've been in many projects with Albert. He definitely has time management down packed. He does a lot of things, but he does them well and he does a, he does all of it. So I'd be happy to have him on board. And, and, he's, he's, consistent. Consistent. and he's very consistent as well. well I like that. Speaking yeah. of time management, obviously events coordinator is going to be a somewhat time consuming role depending on how much you do. I mean, you both knew, so we're not going to throw everything on top of you, but what's the time like between the two of you? How big can go first? Well, look, I've got a lot of other things in my life. Uh, life. <laughs> Shane would know this. Why? Um, Shane and your wife? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 By this point, we argue enough like a married couple. We certainly do. Um, the old ball and chain as he is. Um, <laughs> look, I've got like a job that I work at is casual, but like I do put a fair few like, hours into that. A lot of my own stuff and uni as well. But I manage all my work between that and I always commit to what I do. If I say I'm going to do something, I'll be there, I'll do it, and you'll get it. It does do it to an extremely high standard as well. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. something I can vouch for Albert. That's good. Uh, no pressure, Jackson. Yeah, for me, I'm probably much the same. Uh, I'm, I'm a student, but also, yeah, I'm working a part time job. Uh, it's pretty chill. Okay. I'm probably going to have time. Which Sounds pretty time, even. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, yeah. anyone. Just a quick question. Are either of you doing an internship next year? So, second half of that year, I would be. Okay. But I was already discussing with Ben a little bit how I do that. And Although I would be doing the internship, I would still be around uni. Yeah. The, the, the hours he I'm currently works is basically internship levels already. Right. Okay. And he is doing a good job of managing that. Yeah. Also, yeah. You'd, be doing, you'd be doing the internship where you're not doing intense university at the same time. You're just doing exactly. that. Exactly. So frees up a little yeah. bit my bandwidth. You'll probably yeah. actually end up with more time. Yeah. Might. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Right. yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good.
was going to say the exact same thing. We're going to be the first to be the liaison, so who? Yeah, I'll present it. Okay. So, we'll be done with later. Yes, actually, speaking of which, uh, now we are come towards the end of our time, so we'll be doing some general business and then we'll actually be able to eat the pizza. Woohoo! Uh, which will be nice. Yeah, we probably should have been eating the pizza as we went. Yeah, that's what we're for? You were the one who brought the pizza. You told me to buy it. <laughs> okay, so uh, real quickly, plans for next year. Uh, absolutely want to continue on doing some of the social events. Uh, nothing as big as the 30th anniversary, but I feel like uh, that reboot event we did at the beginning of the semester was a pretty good way to like, get people involved. Uh, yeah, those are the Oh, that's next year. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind that we might. Right. But that's at the end of next year. That's, yeah. that's still good, yeah. Uh, so, uh, as for marketing, uh, some of the things brought up is that, you know, we want to try to diversify when we run events to run them, you know, on weekends or at different days to make sure that we can come. Yeah, because you uh, One of the, well, the thing I was bringing up, I ran main reference to before was uh, next year's hackathon. So we will definitely be doing a hackathon next year because that would be awesome. Yeah. Might even do more. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, what we're thinking of doing is actually using this level. Uh, so a big thing with last year was our you know, natural lighting was really good. We had a few groups who actually spread out uh, over the whole campus, and this was a really good level to do it. So there's three room booking pods there, there's the whole FLP, and then there's a software development studio in this room, which will like let like, students spread out and work in some slightly like, nice looking places. That's just a general thing. We're going to be working with sort of utilizing the building a bit more. Yeah. Uh, anybody else have any sort of things they want to bring up for next year's events? Yeah. Well, if it's like that. Yeah. yeah. That's why I have to that. Yeah. Uh, already discussed with Yoli. I have yet to bring it up with Jacko. However, you're with Activate, so maybe we can do some streaming. So we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, see, I see the benefit. All right. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, way more. <laughs> but yeah, uh, now that like, I, I want to get like a liaison working with you. I actually, yeah. I actually suggested, I think, in the car, on the phone to Ben when I was going to McDonald's. <laughs> I suggested to him, why don't we have some an official role for someone to work from comp, but he thinks we just don't have the numbers yet. So I really want to get a liaison who is very passionate about programming to work with you. I think a bit more promotion of the ads. Oh, stuff, yeah, now, especially for Now that I think like, the executives kind of know what it is a bit more, yeah. uh, we can probably help to really push that. Yeah, uh, so I, I really want to get... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. That's true. It's just like I want someone working with you, like a dedicated person to be like a most your life. Exactly, <laughs> exactly <laughs> why I want to do yeah. work with us. It's exactly why we still have the retirement when that does work more. So they retire the retirement. Yeah, so they still have the uh, yeah. Anything else? Cool. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, so, I'll so work with sure you. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, we'll be doing a lot of handover yeah. documentation and yeah, yeah. working out so, so yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, liaison roles. Uh, basically, everyone in this room would be pretty cool to be like a liaison in some capacity. Uh, Reach out to us. Tell us what you like. Uh, we've, you know, we, we tried doing a bit of a head hunting for liaisons at the beginning of this semester, mm -hmm. uh, and we want to try to push that to before the semester starts at the beginning of the year to like onboard liaisons a bit more and sort of get them to understand what the goal is and what they're responsible. And I think we should really um, give them the idea that it can be as big or as small as they want because I really want people like Katarina to be on the, to be yeah. helping us because she's a very smart and you know, really engaging person. So I really want, but she has limited time, so I'd really like to be able to give people who have limited time, but are sort of those people you see every day, some kind of inclusion. Yes. Just uh, plans for summer. Uh, uh, plans for summer. Uh, looking to the server. Yeah, look into the server. Uh, work out with our events coordinator and probably the whole team uh, a roadmap of the events we want to run. Uh, Oh. <laughs> you know what? Let's see what we can do. Yeah. This is the thing we do in the past. And That's a good in point. January, there's also uh, MIT does a thing called Battle Code. The thing that we're thinking about doing. I, 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 I,
like the battle cruiser. Yeah, so I do so like it's MIT. It's basically AI course that they do. They have this, you know, uh, special activities period at MIT mm. where, you know, they have different special courses and one of those is battle cruiser. program, AI robot, I guess. Ooh. That's yeah. cool. It's yeah. MIT. It's yeah. robots. I like it. Well, that's something to work with. It's AI, so it's training too. Yeah, definitely. We'll uh, yeah, look into that. And I'll try and pull some strings, see if I can get some sponsors for the new year. Yeah, doing yeah. J car across the road. Yeah, uh, the there's there's a lot of uh, sort of potentials for like looking into sponsors over the break. Uh, starting the year with some sponsors would be quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely continuing on a few of the sponsors that we currently have. Uh, yeah. We'll look into well, a little that. Thing. Why, why are we? Be pr- okay. Holidays. Okay. Yeah, right, Some right. period uh, in general because even though we're in a trimester system, nobody really sees it as such, and a lot of people are well, away next and year we'll disengaged. Be. Most people are engineering. Yeah, people yeah, are engineering. Next, yeah. It's next year, 2020, 2021. They're going to start in increasing. But yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's, see, that's the thing. I, I guess the main issue is generally because, um, at least say from last year, the entire exec team pretty much changed. Yeah. Yeah. What makes that difficult is just kind of reaffiliation and yeah. the handover yeah. period makes it very difficult. Yeah. And then yeah. also, like, I'm I'm going to be doing a full time internship from yeah. pretty much November through to January, so I can go to Japan for the month. So it's just like getting a lot of stuff together because this is the biggest period of the year where I can work. So the, th- the thing that we did that was very successful at the beginning of this year was we spent a lot of the break just preparing for the upcoming year yeah. uh, you know we can I think now that all of us sort of have a bit more experience with like how how that works uh, we can sort and of we talk yeah, to each other every day so yeah right. we'll, we'll all be sort of talking to each other a lot more I uh, want to definitely work on that act, consistent activity uh, so yeah I think like kicking off next year with a bang we'll try to do some stuff in the, in the meantime as well but yeah kicking off the next year with like a real like big thing uh, would be pretty cool <laughs> uh, what happened to that Nobody participated. <laughs> yeah, so we, we, yeah, so we, we talked about it, we put, put it in the newsletter, we created a channel for it. Uh, and it was just, and just fell apart. Well, it basically, the, the thing was, is you can only promote something so much, and if people don't really receive to it, we want to focus our attention on the stuff that, you know. And now that we have, new, now that we have more, uh, you know, executives, maybe we actually will have time to sort of push that stuff a bit more and, like, Structured a bit more, so yeah, it's definitely. And it's, it's definitely also time because, yeah. like, I was going to participate in that, and then DSA kicked my butt. Like, I literally have one called the Trash Man, where it's Danny DeVito saying, "I'm the Trash Man." <laughs> we had we had like a few pretty fun things, but yeah, it was that fell apart. Yeah, cool. Uh, any other things that anybody wants to bring up? Oh, thanks yeah. for coming. If, uh, Thank you guys. Well if, anyone has, <laughs> if anyone has like a, a good interest in being a liaison, like even if you're not certain, even if you, there's just one specific event you want to help out in, can you just can stick I your hands up? Can I get a yeah. green, green? Yeah, because then we'll, that's the point. Yeah, because yeah. then we can give you a Discord tag. Yeah. So we got Rosie. What's your name? Sorry. Ryan. Ryan. Awesome. Random. Oh shit, no, I have to write the last name everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson. Okay, Ryan, Jackson, Rosie. Anyone else? No, she meant alumni green. Uh, oh, alumni yeah, green? Yeah, no, you mean, you you mean the alumni role. Oh yeah, my yeah, god, yeah. I just yeah. realised that. Yeah. <laughs> totally intentional, really. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, also, if you guys need to borrow a second office space, then my office is usually a good place to do meetups. Um, oh, cool. It's an entire building. Okay. So. Cool, thank cool, that, you. That, that could work, yeah. You know, with the sweet deets, my friend. All right. Uh, I'm starving. I don't know about everybody else. Let's get pizza. Thanks for the turnout. Yeah, let's call yeah. the meeting close. Yeah. 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 Yeah.